Understanding is about knowing the basic spiritual principles and concepts uh, through the visual medium of art. What is reality? What is God? What and whence is the universe? What or who are we? What is consciousness, space and time? Basically, it is an endeavor to know what is true and what is false. By knowing the difference, we can then pursue what is true and discard what isn't. By not knowing the difference, we are constantly seeking the false in favor of the true. The first thing to understand is that the Absolute, whom we call God, is not an entity but a form of energy which is the source of our objective world. This source has not only created our world but is very actively involved in it. Like an artist who has not only painted a beautiful picture but has himself stepped into the picture to oversee the smooth functioning of his creation. This field of energy that we call God is not perceivable to our human faculties. It cannot be seen by the eye, but it makes seeing possible. This energy is present everywhere and yet is absent in as much as it cannot be seen. This is the most mysterious aspect of it all. It is absent and yet present in its all pervasiveness. It can only be known by its working. Like electricity, which cannot be seen but is responsible for the functioning of all the gadgets it energizes. If the said energy of God energizes everything and is all pervasive and omnipresent, then it logically follows that this very energy must also be present in us or, to take it a step further, it must verily be us and every living form must also be it. This energy, as stated earlier, being the source was prior to the appearance of the universe, is present now and will still be there after the universe comes to its natural end. In other words, this energy has a permanence about it. And when that very energy is within us, then there has to be a permanence about us too, but not as the body, which is only made up of destructible material elements, but as the permanent soul or spirit within us. The proof of this we can see for ourselves. Everything around us, including our body, is forever changing. From the time we are born till the time it dies. The only thing that has never changed about us is our consciousness, our soul, our spirit. So the ultimate understanding is that one oneself is what one has been seeking all along. Why are we not aware of this fact? Why have we been in the dark for so long? Because there never was an understanding of this before. We have been too much engrossed in our body and mind, conscious only of our temporal material body mistakenly identifying with it and not with what is permanent in us, the one that has forever been our true friend at every step of the way, which is the soul, the spirit, the consciousness. The only way to liberate ourselves from the shackles of this misunderstanding is to abide more in our stream of consciousness, which is forever flowing in us. This understanding, coupled with an earnestness of purpose, is all that we need. Then the understanding itself will start to work and bring to the surface our true being in all its pristine, effulgent glory. Read the book with the intellectual understanding, reflecting upon it very deeply. Then 
the master key to understanding the mysteries of life, destiny, peace and your own reality will be yours.